Welcome to Gym Run Bristol, session four. We're going to start with speed agility, as always, this time vertical jumping, feet hip width apart, pushing through the balls of the feet, and then trying to get off the floor with that movement while keeping the legs straight at the knee and the hip, then bringing the knee in with a slight bend, so pushing through balls of the feet and the knees, and then flexing at the hips as well, keeping the head up. And last of all, bringing in the arms too. <laughs> so that's how we jump. We're now going to work for one minute on this move. So starting with jogging on the spot. Into two foot jumps. And then into four leaps. <laughs> Bending down, pushing up through the ankles, the knees, the hips, using the arms. And again, try and catch your breath on the jog. Into the two foot jumps. Once again, into four leaps. Squat down, leap up. Keep the head up. One more time. Two foot jumps. Four leaps to finish. Make sure you drop those hips nice and low. Next move, core stability. So mountain climbers. Hands out under shoulders. Try to get a straight line from our shoulder through to our ankles. And we're just gonna take a knee to the elbow and back. So we'll go for one minute again. Three, two, one. Don't worry about taking the movement too fast. Just keep it nice and controlled. Try to touch your elbow with your knee. If you change the movement up slightly, we can bring the knee across to the opposite elbow. In the side muscles, the obliques. And when that one starts to ache, let's go back to straight up. Engaging the core as we go. Nice straight line from the shoulder to the ankles. What have we got? 15 more seconds. Go back to twists. You can rest on this if you need to. One more on each side. So we're now going to move to arm strength. For this one, it works well on your sofa or a chair in your living room. If you're in the garden, you've got a bench or in the park, equally a bench is great. I don't have any of that, so I'm going to use a box, which I brought with me. So we're on bench dips hands placed over the edge of the sides of the, the bench and we're going to go legs out or legs in to make it slightly easier, arms back nice and straight and we're just going to dip down until our arms are at 90 degrees. So one minute of work, here we go, we'll start with bent legs just to show you what it looks like. We could go one leg straight slightly harder, changing legs as we go, or into both legs straight. Again, not too fast for the movement, especially on the way down. Controlled on the way down. You'll find this one starts to catch up with you fairly quickly. The arms will start to ache, the shoulders. maybe even your chest. And when it does, stop, have a sit down, have a bit of a rest, wait for that achy feeling to go, and then push out some more. Here we go. Last 10 seconds. See if I can do 10. Get rid of the 
the box. So leg strength, reverse lunges, feet hip width apart, nice and tall through the body. And we're going to step back, keeping both feet forwards, drop the back knee, and then come forward on the other side. We can bring in the arms to coordinate this movement and even take the arms above our head, which I'll do during the minute. So, here we go. Step back, drop the knee, come forward. Little gap between the feet for balance. Get your body weight nice and centered between your two feet. So we'll bring in the arms now. Opposite arm to leg. Help coordinate the movement and give you a bit more balance as well. Opposite arm to leg. Keep it going. And we'll finish by taking the arms above the head, linking them together, trying to keep the arms behind the ears. Here we go. Nice and tall at the top. Two more on each side. Well done. Balance. Side plank. So we'll go for 30 seconds on each side. Lie down on your side, elbow under shoulder, palm flat. And we're going to push onto a two point balance, so elbow and foot. And we're going to hold that position, lifting the hips up. Here we go. If we need to, we can make this one into a three point balance by bringing the foot forward. We can also take the arm up. and hold. And you'll feel that again on your sides, through the core, into the shoulder. Another five or six seconds on this side. Rotate round, elbow under shoulder, palm flat. I want a bit of a slope here which might make it a little bit harder. Up we go and take the arm out and hold. Pulling the tummy muscles in, try not to wobble. Ten more seconds. Keep holding. Three, two, one. And we'll drop down for the stretch into a kneel and reach. Maybe just 30 seconds on the stretch, or as long as you can, the longer the better. So gap between the knees, we're gonna lower our chest through to the floor, and take our hands out, sink everything down, and hold. Try to be sat down on your ankles. Lower the chest into the ground. about your breathing. Five more seconds. Back up onto our feet. <laughs> That's the gym done. Now for the run. We're going to do the run on the spot in recognition of the fact that Lots of you will be in your living rooms or in your gardens. Um, so we're going three times one minute. And um, for the minute, we're going to move through six gears, starting in the first gear, and we get quicker as the gears progress. Then we'll have a rest time, we'll do that three times. So, first minute. Start by just marching on the spot for the first 10 seconds. This is gear one. Into gear two, slow jog. Into three, slightly quicker. Bringing the arms in a bit more. Into four, faster in the arms. 
slightly higher in the knees. Five. Building speed now. Breathing, pushing up. So get ready for that last 10 seconds in sixth gear. Sprinting, here we go. Two, keep it going. Knees up. And rest there. So this workout will be about 10 minutes long. If you want a longer workout, then by all means do it twice or even three times. We've got two more one minute runs to go. So we'll go 10 seconds in for our second run. Same again, moving through the six gears. Here we go. Try to make it 10 seconds in each gear. Second gear, nice, slow, gentle jog. Third gear, just a bit quicker. Taking us up to the halfway mark. Faster arms again for fourth gear. Starting to feel it a bit more now. Fifth gear, making sure you've got one more gear up. Ready for six, here we go. Working hard, fast arms, fast legs, keep it going. Knees up, elbows in, and rest there. One more to go. Whew. Great work so far. Nearly through, one more minute. Deep breaths, try and bring that breathing rate back down. Okay, last minute. Start by just jogging or walking, should I say, on the spot for 10. Into a slow jog. The second gear. Moving into third gear, everything nice and relaxed, nice and tall, if you can. Fourth gear. Building the arm speed now. The faster the arms go, the faster the legs will follow. Fifth gear. Last 10 seconds, come on, let's really push now. Fast arms, fast legs, keep going. Knees up, three, two, one. And we're done, well done.